Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you an absolutely amazing Scotch game. This is a game between Hoffman and Lehman, played in New York in 1963. Hoffman started with e4, e5 by Lehman, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4. The Italian game, knight to f6, and now d4, transposing to the scotch opening. e takes on d4, white to move. How to defend the pawn on e4? Hoffman castled kingside. If pawn to e5, then black plays d5 most of the time. Back to our game, we have castling and play with the black pieces, captured the pawn. Rook to e1 pinning, d5 defending and attacking. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do? Hoffman sacrificed the bishop temporarily. Queen takes bishop and now knight to c3 attacking the queen. Queen to a5. If pawn takes knight, then queen takes queen. So we have Queen to a5, white to move. Knight takes knight, perhaps was expected. We have knight takes pawn. Knight takes knight on d4. Queen takes on d4, defending the knight, white to move. How would you continue? Quite often, it is a good idea to attack a pinned piece with a pawn. But not in this case. What's wrong with attacking the pinned piece? Then, bishop to c5, and black wins. Back to our game. Hoffman played bishop to d2. Queen to c5, offering to trade queens. Queen to a4, check. Bishop to d7. What is the best square for the white queen? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Player with the white pieces did not move the queen. He captured the knight on e4. Player with the black pieces captured the knight. If bishop takes a queen, then knight takes on c5 and white wins. So we have f takes on e4. Queen takes pawn check, king to f7, white to move. For a change, player with the white pieces played an ordinary move. Queen takes on b7, bishop to d6, queen to b3 check, king to g6, white to move. What now? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Hoffman played this brilliant rook to e6 check move. The exchange sacrifice. Bishop takes rook. Queen takes bishop check. King to h5. Queen to f7 check. King to h4. If g6, then queen to f3 check. And after king to h4, Queen to h3 check mate. Back to our game. So after check we have king to h4. g3 check. Bishop takes on g3. h takes on g3 check. King to g4. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? White played a move when black resigned and the move is king to g2. Black resigned if queen to c6 check, then f3 check, and after queen takes pawn, queen takes queen. Check mate. Wow, what a masterpiece. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.